let's not get religious. Come on, somebody. Let's get like the blind guy. Say, you know what? I'm not sure what's going on, but, but I just sense something different that's happening. I, I can see it, but I can hear it. Something different is happening around me right now. It seems to be we're almost done. Simple, basic life. I'm telling you a story from my When I got the message that Jesus of Nazareth was passing by, he didn't hesitate for a second. The Bible says he called out. He said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. The curiosity of the blind man brought him to releasing the cry of the blind man. Amen. The Bible tells us he cries out, he calls out, he says, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. The Bible tells us that there are some people in that crowd that said, would you please shut your mouth? Would you be quiet, please? There's always going to be somebody in the house that does not like to be in the presence of anointing noise. Flesh despises the move of the Holy Ghost. Controlling spirits despise the sound of anointing noise. They said, be quiet, be quiet. Be, and what, hap what happens for Sundays, they allow the crowd to tell them what to do. Amen. Remember Pilate? How the hand of Christ holding instead of Barabbas. The Bible tells us uh, that, that how the, the, the different things got used to, to speak to Pilate. He would listen to his wife, and his wife said to him, him a no, and said, honey, have nothing to do with this man that suffered on a dream and a condom last night. His own conscience, Pilate, you read Matthew 27. Matthew, Pilate, you can look at I find no fault in him. Uh, he, he's innocent, whatever. This is out of jealousy. He would listen to his wife. How do you know always God's want to listen to a godly wife? Somebody say amen. Yeah. He listens to him, he listens to himself. But when he approached Jesus in John, in John's account of this, Pilate said, I, I do the Son of God. I do the Son of God. He says, I am. And Christ spoke to him. He would listen to his wife. He would listen to Jesus. But listen to himself. But Luke's account tells us the shouts of the crowd prevail, and he released Christ in the crucifixion. Here's my prayer. Listen, do not let the shouts of the crowd still the cry that they'll put inside of you. So many great young people are missing out on the miracle. They're allowing faces of the crowd to rob them of miracles in their own lives. Amen. The Bible tells us. He cried out and said, Jesus, son of David. Have mercy on me. It's Christy and Robin come. He cried out and said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. If you're listening, somebody say yes right now. Yes. But the Bible tells us in verse 39 of Luke 18, it says that when they, they said, they rebuked him, it said, be quiet. The word says, but he shouted all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. What does this mean? Folks, in verse 38 and 39, when speech of crying out and, and shouting out, listen, there are two different words. In verse 38, when it talks of, listen, I want you to picture this. They're, they're walking to the, the gym, they're walking to a Passover, and it was many rabbis and their students. A saying was known among rabbi and their students. The saying was, may the dust of the rabbi be upon you. What they meant by that was, when you were a young rabbinical student, you'd walk by your rabbi as he'd speak to you. And you'd walk close, close enough, the dust of his feet could fall upon you. Because other sounds and other voices and distractions and, and, and outdoor teaching and preaching, it, it can be very effective, but lots of other voices and background noise. The key was, if you want to learn, let the dust of the rabbi be upon you. But they had no idea. When they said, shut up to them, they're going to be saying, oh, pal, look, if you're blind, okay, feel bad for you, but you're interrupting my teaching. I can't hear my rabbi. They had no idea. The rabbi with a capital R was walking down that same dusty road. But instead of everybody in this house, if you're a follower of Christ, lots of voices, but may the dust of the rabbi be upon you. When you walk so close to Jesus, but the dust of the rabbi be upon you, and may your ear be attentive to his voice. And then it happened. When he heard the news, it's Jesus walking by. It came the first of two cries.